Hi, I'm Michael Nadalin from Market Lead, and today's video is about how to do conversion tracking in Microsoft Ads using events. So this is a bit more advanced, simple for me, but when I was originally setting it up, it wasn't actually that easy to understand. So I'm gonna do a video walkthrough so it's much easier for you. So in the last two videos, the first one is setting up the UET tag or the base pixel on your Google Tag Manager so it runs on every page. Now that's important because that's what's gonna capture all your data and actually ensure that this code fires properly. And the last video was on how to do lead submission for destination URL. So that's a very simplified approach, but most of the time now with most websites and how tracking is set up in Google Tag Manager, Google Ads, Google Analytics, you just better to do it through Google Tag Manager just to get it more clear. So what I'm gonna do is go through it with you right now. So we wanna go back up to create, or if you haven't started, go to tools and conversion goals. Then we go to create, and we wanna to go to website, next, category goal, and I'm gonna do submit lead form. Once again, you can choose anything, but I like to submit lead form. And then we go to event. So last time destination URLs, we just put in the URL. This time we're going a bit more sophisticated. So event. Now I'm gonna call this lead submission event and uh, example. Now if it was something else, I'd call it something more appropriate. The value, I don't assign a value. Going down here, I go to count and then I will go to unique. So I only want it to be for every session, only one because I don't want it to double, triple, quadruple fire, which I usually see and it's a big issue. The next one is the conversion window. Now for B2B and B2C that have a longer buying cycle, I like it to be longer. I always prefer it to be longer now because the more data in the account, the better. Because if it helps and actually gets the result, it's amazing. And going down here, including conversions, obviously yes. And then conversion attribution, just leave it on last click. So we go to next. Now, this is where to make sure that the UET or the base pixels been added to your Google Tag Manager or basically the website. Uh, but at the moment, because I only recently installed it, it's not picking it up, but I'm just gonna go to yes. If you hadn't done that, it will give you instructions on how to set it up as well. So save and next. And this is where we actually do the manual install. So code free powered by Microsoft Clarity. I don't use that. I haven't actually tried that yet. I might do that soon, but what we're gonna do is the manual install, and this is similar to Google Ads using it through Google Tag Manager, and we go to next. So this is where we start to decide what the criteria will be. So we want it to be that when the action is submit lead form, we can change this, it could be to uh, for quotes, or something different, or it could be quote submission. Whatever it is, make it unique. Make sure it relatively matches up with the title of the conversion. Uh, the reason why is it just makes it a bit easier for your tracking and analysis. So the next thing we want to be doing is once we've decided what will be triggered as an event, we go down here and we go to track event on page load. So this will happen down here as well. So you can just decide which one it is, but I'm going to do it on page load, for example. So we do the copy of the tag. And then we've got the tag. And then now we go to Google Tag Manager, which I've got over here, and we create a new uh, tag. So I'm gonna call this, I might just bring this down here, Microsoft Ads uh, Lead, and then call it Submission. And then I want to go Tag Configuration, Custom HTML, add that in there. And then I want this to fire on when people go to my thank you page visit. Now, if you hadn't set up those triggers in the past, I've got full trainings on how to set up uh, the triggers, but you can set up your own triggers if it's, you know, a page is contact or confirm, like you can go just here and go uh, page view, some pages, URL contains confirm or confirmation, for example, page view confirmation, save. And this is just, you know, you can do this stuff really fast. And then once that's done, and I might even just change it for the example right now, if it was someone who went to a confirmation page, uh, there we go. And then I press save. And the most important thing is publishing it and making sure it's been published and wait until that has been published. And we know that that is set up now. So this code will fire when someone goes to the confirmation page, save and exit. Uh, and then we're done. So it may take up to 24 hours to verify it, 
uh, but just give it a try. Make sure it works. There are extensions for Microsoft Ads to test the tagging. Uh, they work really well and you can always do that as well. So once that is done, you are done. And that's a really simple way on how to do it. I wish it was that fast when I had to learn how to do it because I actually couldn't find any videos on YouTube to explain just how to do this properly. So this is a really simple way on how to set up events, conversions with Google Tag Manager for Microsoft Ads. So I'll leave it there. If you've got any questions, please let me know. But remember, like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share. And if you're ready to become a market leader and you're serious about increasing your sales, increasing your customers and scaling your business with Google Ads, have a chat with someone at my team about your Google Ads account at marketlead.com.au. 